Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and welcome to the Juniper Border Gateway Protocol, BGP Lab number 13. In this lab, we're going to take a closer look at loops and advertise peer AS. If this network diagram looks familiar, that is because it was used in our last Juniper BGP lab, that was lab number 12, where we looked at AS override. We're going to use the same exact initial configuration with that lab so we're gonna cut out the first half of that lab where we went through and built from the ground up this configuration this network diagram we're gonna start out at the external BGP configuration point so we have IBGP adjacency set up between R2 and R3 already so the first thing I want to do is just explain the network topology if you weren't with us last time we have router 1 2 and 3 1 2 3 and 4 they are all logical systems if you're not familiar with logical systems and logical tunnel interfaces i would suggest going back and watching on juniper series 1 we have two logical systems labs those will help you out and we are representing our logical tunnel interfaces as follows the connection from R2 to R1 is logical tunnel 120.21, but it has been shortened in the network diagram for simplicity. The connection between R1 and R2 is the 12 network. The connection between R2 and R3 is the 23 network. Between R3 and R4, the 34 network. We have loopbacks on R1 and R4, loopback 0.4 on R4, which is the 4 network, and loopback 0 0.1 on router 1 is the 1 network. We are using the dot .1 IPs in the 4th octet to represent all our interfaces on R1. On R2, we're using dot .2, router 3, dot .3, and R4, dot .4, for simplicity. R1 is in autonomous system 1400, router 2 and router 3 are in autonomous system 2300, and router 4 is in autonomous system 1400 as well. So what we're going to do in this video is show you an alternative to sending your autonomous system from customer edge to customer edge. Your autonomous system are routes that have originated in the same autonomous system back into the same autonomous system just like AS override we, we did in Juniper BGP lab 12 where we applied that on R2 and R3 on the premise edge we're going to show you an alternative to that just in case you get stuck in a scenario where you cannot use AS override for one reason or another if that is on a Juniper certification exam or in a real life uh, situation or scenario So first I just want to show you the configuration that we already have and explain that we have an IBGP connection between R2 and R3. Again, what you may want to do, you can start off with the configuration.